Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to find the Maclaurin series for g of x equals the cosine squared of x solution. So the first thing we'll do is we'll use a common trig identity. So whenever we have cosine squared x, we can write this as 1 plus cosine 2x all divided by 2. Super useful. Then we can break this up. It's 1 over 2 plus, and then cosine 2x over 2. And we can break this up even further. We can write this as 1 half, or rather rewrite it, and you can put the 1 half in front of the cosine 2x. So dividing by 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 half. So why did we do this? Because, well, now we can find the Maclaurin series for cosine 2x. Once we have that, we can multiply it by 1 half, and then just add 1 half to it, and we're done. So let's start by writing down the Maclaurin series for cosine x. So the Maclaurin series for cosine x is equal to the infinite sum, and n always starts at 0, so it goes from 0 to infinity, and you have a negative 1 to the n, and cosine is an even function, so you always have even powers of x. So 2n. 2n is always an even number. And then here you have 2n factorial. To find the Maclaurin series for cosine 2x, all we do is we, re we replace every copy of x with 2x. So this is cosine of 2x equals, and then we have the infinite sum, as n runs from 0 to infinity. And we have negative 1 to the n. And then now instead of x, we have 2x to the 2n. And then down here we have 2n factorial. Now we could simplify this. So before we do, let me show you how. So this piece here can be rewritten, this 2x to the 2n. If you have 2x to the 2n, you can write this as 2 to the 2n times x to the 2n. Okay, you can do that. Um, so that's, that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. So this is equal to the infinite sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n. And this is 2 to the 2n, x to the 2n, and it's all over 2n factorial. Now I said that's a good idea. Um, if you're wondering why I said that, it's because usually it's a good idea, right? Usually when you get to this step, it's a good idea to break it up a little bit. We could have taken this a little further, right? 2 to the 2n can be written as 2 squared to the n, which is 4 to the n. That thought crossed my mind, but at the same time, we're going to be multiplying by 1 half next. So um, it'll be easier to work with that if we leave it as 2 to the 2n. All right, so this is the Maclaurin series for cosine 2x. Now we just have to multiply it by 1 half and then add 1 half. Let's go ahead and do all of that. Okay, so, so we have g of x. And that's equal to 1 half plus 1 half cosine 2x. So that's equal to 1 half plus 1 half. And then we have 1 half times this times all of this, right? This, this is our cosine 2x right here, this whole piece here. So we're just going to multiply it by 1 half. So it's the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n. And then we have 2 to the 2n, and then we have x to the 2n, and then over here we have parentheses 2n factorial. And I'll just stop here because I'm running out of room, um, but you, you could keep going, I suppose. You could distribute the 1 half, and then you would this piece would simplify, and you would get 2 to the 2n minus 1. So I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.